All right, today is October 18th, 2022. Back at it again uh, with my uh, AMC 20 here, the Rebuild. Had to run a couple of errands first, one of which was to pick up the uh, Master Rebuild kit for it. Uh, so we'll take a look at this thing. It's made by G2. Looks like they have the uh, a cork version of the diff cover seal. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we've got several bearings and races. A couple of seals for the axle tubes. It's like a pack of shims there and fresh bolts. Okay, so hopefully that'll be all I need. What do we got here? Some Loctite or something? What is this? Maybe to mark the gear teeth? Might be to Probably some Prussian blue or something. Anyhow, so that's that's going to be needed for sure. What they didn't have was the, uh, I had ordered solid axles, the uh, Chrome Molly G2 axles that I'm replacing the two-piece axles, which is what these are. These are the OEM two-piece axles. I haven't taken the hub off to verify that, but I'm pretty sure they are. Um, but they sent me, <clears throat> originally they sent me the G2 uh, axles and they, they were missing a couple of studs on the hub. So I had to have them get another one in. And then I went all the way down there to get these parts and uh, they couldn't, couldn't find the other set that they had gotten in. So uh, they're overnighting from California, the uh, axles. So they should be here tomorrow. So anyway, what I'm gonna try to attempt now is to get this uh, carrier unit out of there to ring in pinion gears and so forth. But as mentioned earlier, I first have to mark the uh, bearing caps so I know that they get back in the same place that they came out. So here we go. Okay, I got these marked. I used a center punch um, and a hammer and just put a little ding there, a little ding there. So that's on the right side. And two marks here, one, two, one, two. So these bearing caps will get back in the same place as well as the right orientation, you know, with up there that they indicated. So now what I'm gonna do is, is take these uh, bearing cap bolts loose but I'm not gonna take them all the way out because <clears throat> um, I'm gonna have to probably pry on this a little bit to get it to come out. Um, and I don't want it to fall out because <laughs> I wanna see where the, where the shims are. Um, I wanna you know, take it all, as, all out as one unit and lay it up there on the bench. So, all right, here we go. All right, I got this carrier out, and upon inspection, uh, this thing's in pretty bad shape. Um, borrowing some uh, terminology from my test engineer days, but actually dealing with gear trains and so forth, bearings, races. This has definitely got some uh, pitting, uh, some spalling, yeah, you can see it spalling where a material is actually removed away from the piece. Major, major uh, spalling here. Major pitting, even part of the bearing missing right there. Let's see this right here. Yeah, that's, that's pitting right there. This is all pitting, actually, because when I rub my... See how it's not cleaning anything away. That's all pitting there. Major, major pitting going on. Look at that one. Wow. Same with the other side. Uh, there was one roller in particular. That one right there. I mean, this is, there's some more. 
that roller right there, if I can focus in right there, has actually got a chunk missing out of it. Wow. No wonder it was talking to me. Same with this race here. We got spalling. Again, spalling is when the material is actually removed. And you can see that that's clearly what that is. You could call that pitting too, but more like a spalling right here. So, definitely uh, two failure modes on this. Those bearings and races definitely uh, would need to be replaced, and they will be replaced because I'm going to be putting in a new, uh, a whole new unit. This is a, I'll get this out later, but I've got an Auburn uh, grip and lock LSD down there, limited slip differential. Of course, the ring and pinion in there, and then the master rebuild kit. So, all right, now I've got these laid out exactly how they came out. So um, I'm just going to leave that sit there. Got a nice thick piece of cardboard under it so it can absorb some of that oil instead of getting my bench messed up. And going to move on to the pinion. So the pinion gears right here. I'll inspect that a little bit more when I get it out of there. But first, I have to take this yoke off. There's a pretty good size nut on there. I'm going to have to get off of there. So I probably need a monkey wrench or something to hold that pipe wrench. And uh, I don't know what size that is. That's probably 7 eighths or so, 1 inch at least. And I'll get that off, and then I'll be able to whack the, the pinion. Should come out this direction here. So uh, okay. here we go. All right, I got this yoke off of there. That nut turned out to be a uh, one and one eighth diameter. So I'm gonna set this aside. Put the nut back on because I'm going to be hitting against this shaft. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm not reusing that anyway. And I don't want to mess up the threads on this because I probably will reuse, oops, sorry. I will reuse this nut, but I'm not going to reuse that shaft because that's part of the pinion that's coming out of there. So I'm going to whack that a few times. Uh, hopefully, won't take more than a few times. Looks like there's a, yeah, that seal's got to come out of there too. I guess I'll get that out of there first. All right, here we go. Yeah, I got this seal remover at uh, Harbor Freight several weeks ago. Now, I think it was like six bucks or something. So basically what this is going to do is loop in there or hook in there, and I'm going to pry against that shaft and should come out of there. Here we go. Uh, I got the pinion out of there. Uh, I ended up not getting the seal out, but I'll with the uh, seal remover. But I'll get it from this side. But if you can see there, this race right there also has some spalling where material has been removed from it. Just in that one spot, I think. And then on the. Uh, on the uh, bearing, pinion bearing, we've got some removal of material right there as well. So this is definitely failure in the making. You can see those pits a little better now. I mean, they're, they're on like, yeah, it's a big crater right there. Big old crater. There's another one. So yeah, this is definitely a failure in the making. Uh, definitely, definitely time to do all this work here. And yeah, there's that spalling there on that race. So, glad I'm doing this. 
uh, it, it was already pretty obvious to me anyway. Um, as a uh, as a side, back up a little bit. Um, I did notice when I took the drive shaft out, too, or Coleman did, um, that the um, uh, the universal joint uh, that goes there, the, all of the needle bearings were missing in it. Um, and I don't know if that happened like after I inspected it at the auto hobby shop because it was not moving at all then. Didn't appear that the drive shaft was the problem. But it could be that these issues here compounded that and maybe over a day's driving it or something, they all fell out because they were there were none in the U-joint uh, when we took it out. So uh, that definitely has to be replaced as well. So there's going to be some major... Major overhauling going on here. I have a few things left that I got to take out. Uh, I've got to take this seal out. You can see where I was trying to get it out with that seal remover, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to knock this thing off the stand, so I didn't compress the issue. No pun intended. But anyway, <laughs> I'll get that knocked out. It's going to come out uh, towards me, and then there's a there's also a should be a race in there. Of course that race right there has got to come out and that bearing it's right back there has a, an associated race that I'll have to knock out in the direction that I'm pointing here. This race right here will have to come out in the direction that where I'm um, on the other side of this camera. So I've got to be careful when I do that because I don't want to uh, mess up the machining of that cast piece when I do it. So. I've got to find the right, the correct diameter tool to get that out of there without risking any damage. So here we go. How's this for custom work? <laughs> I had to have a long enough reach to get inside here so I could knock that bearing out with the seal and everything. Got that out, uh, but I don't have the correct size um, race seating tool or race removal tool bearing seating tool whatever um so uh i'm going to have to stop here for today so i can go i guess to harbor freight and shop for something that's just a little bit bigger in diameter than that but uh i did get the uh i did get the bearing out there's a uh, there's a pit yeah no not there that's dirt I saw it somewhere on that bearing. Can't find it now. Anyway, anyway, got that off. Got the uh, seal out of there. So um, I'm going to have to stop here, like I said, for today. Because I'll have to get a uh, some kind of, I don't know if they have anything there that I could get that could serve as a means of getting that race out of there. But... All of my other ones are too big. The next size up is too big. So hopefully on this other one, once I get that out, actually, you know what? That's not gonna work anyway. I could get one in there to get that one out, but obviously I can't, want, can't get one on that side of that. So probably what I'll do is just go and buy a long punch. I don't have a punch long enough. Um, that's a center punch, but even my, um, uh, I forgot what they call the flat-headed punch, is not long enough to get in there. So I'm going to have to get a longer punch, maybe, I don't know, 12 inches long or so at least, so I can get in there on that side and then get to this, uh, get to this side too. So I'm going to stop there for today. That's what I have left to do. Uh, actually, I need to, I need to run a broom handle down through here because I've got to pop that seal out of there as well. Once those items are out, then it's ready to clean up and uh, start the assembly process. So, um, and that's where things get really tedious, doing the uh, setting shims and getting the backlash and all that kind of fun stuff set properly. But uh, it's got to take your time, take my time to do that. So, uh, all right, we'll catch you guys next time. Later.